everyone, welcome back to this episode of Cart Crazy. No, you're not seeing things. I've got two carts in here today and uh, kind of had a change of heart, mainly because I'm a little bit crazy. Uh, no, check that. I'm a lot crazy, but had this one pop up on Facebook Marketplace the other day and it's a 2017 and um, we'll go through some things. I'll show you what I've got in mind and hopefully it all makes sense. Come along for the ride. Let's get started. Alright, you remember in our last episode, um, I picked up the 2013, actually bought that from a dealer. Inventory is just really, really low right now. I paid way too much for that cart, um, but wanted to have something I could uh, not only fix up for myself, because at the end of the day, that's what the ultimate goal is here, to fix one up and eventually keep it. Um, and then, I had this beauty pop up. This is a 2000. 17 so this is literally the newest cart uh, the price was already it was priced pretty right and I threw a lowball offer down and the guy accepted it almost immediately um, just because he was anxious to get it out of his garage it was an older gentleman and he had some ideas and, and he wanted to just move it along so he said yep I'll take your offer went and picked it up so here's what here's my thought process this is um, already got, this is a uh, club car wheels on it, aluminums. It's black, which isn't a terrible color. It's got the black roof. It's got gray seats. It has uh, headlights, turn signals, uh, a horn. It's pretty much all ready to go in that aspect. Of course, it's not lifted and doesn't have the rear seat or anything like that. But, it has brand new um, Trojan batteries the lead acid batteries so my thought behind this is I will take the batteries and I will take the wheels and I will put them into the Flintstone mobile I will take out the Roy Powell unit and I will put that into this cart so at the end of the day when I swap everything around and sell this one I will have paid for this uh, lithium conversion kit uh, free and clear. So the lithium conversion kit runs about two thousand dollars and if my plan goes right, which hopefully it will, um, like I said I will have paid for that and I will be into this cart at the right dollar amount that I want to be and I can start building this one out to keep it. And I say that in air quotes because I say that I'm going to keep every one that I do and then I end up going on and, and getting another one. But check this out. This thing is just um, it's dusty, but there is no scratches in the plastic, you know, other than the little bit of wear and tear if you look really, really close, but it's not gouged, it's not beat up. Underneath is super clean. Um, the nicest cart I have ever um, started with, and I know this one's got the USB ports for charging your phone. That's not usually my intention. I usually start with an old wreck, but if I'm going to keep one for myself, sure would be nice to start with um, a unit like this. So, like I said, it's got the horn. I don't have the key on, but the signals. Um, so, super, super nice machine. And uh, other than the windshield, I don't know if you can see this, got, eh, I can't really see it in the camera, but the windshield is super scratched up. So, I don't really care for the tinted windshields anyway. So, what I'll probably do is um, just put a nice clear one on there. But that is my thought process. So we're going to finish this guy up. I'm going to swap these tires and batteries around. And I'm going to recover the back seat. Remember this cart originally had a back seat kit on it, which I haven't done much with other than take it off. But I have the other covers to match those. So I would get that back seat kit, get those new um, lead acid batteries switched over, get the wheels switched over, and put this one up for sale. And hopefully... Um, pay for my lithium upgrade so that's what I'm thinking about switch the lead acids from the 17 over into the 13 model just another reason I don't like lead acids uh, the smell and um, I've cleaned them up a little bit but they they kind of bubble over and leak you can see it's kind of making a mess here. Uh, I just I just don't like them. So obviously 
Uh, that's why I'm taking it out of the 17 and putting the Roy Power unit in there because I like that so much better. So, uh, on this side, the only thing I have to do, just like I did on the 13, is trim this out, trim this little piece off, and this corner, and that uh, Roy Powell unit will sit right down in here. I know it's hard to tell on camera, but being a 17 model, this is so much nicer and so much cleaner in here. Uh, a lot less prep work, even the battery terminal ends, um, I don't know if you can see that. They're just really clean, they're not corroded, so just a lot less headache. Uh, when you're dealing with a newer unit. So if I'm going to keep a cart, um, this is definitely the front runner in my mind. Of course, it'll get a different body and seats and all that. But for now, I'm going to get it functional, get that Roy Powell battery unit set in here, and get my wheels switched over. I'm going to use these wheels on the 13. So keep plugging away. Status update. Got the lithium unit in the 17 model. Uh, did get it bolted in. Being that this one will most likely stay in here until I change my mind again. I temporarily put the battery meter, I just zip tied it in here just so I know where I'm at. Eventually that will get run underneath here and we'll mount it uh, over where that other battery indicator is. But until I tear the body and everything off, it doesn't pay to do all that just for that because that's all going to be coming off anyway. And then, uh, of course, batteries are in the Flintstone Mobile. I haven't named this one yet. i got to come up with a name. Uh, maybe you all can help me out with that. I got the wheels swapped over onto the black one. Put those on there. So now it's just a matter of reupholstering those back seats and getting the back seat kit mounted back on, which is no big deal. I'm tossing around the idea of putting a new floor mat in here. This one's pretty war. So just to give you an idea, you know, those of you that are saying, Jeff, why are you going through all this? I mean, this will help you understand a little bit better. You see how war this mat is? I mean, this cart has miles and miles and miles on it. Um, this cart over here, I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but I mean, this is low mileage. You got a little bit of wear right there. It's five years newer. So that's kind of why I'm going through all this. Um, that and a number of other reasons. but. That's where we're at. I did steal the windshield off the Flintstone Mobile just because it is in a little nicer shape. I'm still probably going to swap that out with a clear one eventually. Undecided if I'm going to put the one off of there on here or just leave this without a windshield. Undecided on that, but we'll figure that out. I guess that's it for now. That's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you like what you see. Thanks for your support of the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time on Cart Crazy.